Okay, looking at this hand, I do like having the biggin in my hand right away, and I do like having the Vindicator in my hand so he could potentially coin something out. Coin out turn two, maybe get jury duty. Order in the court's not great. Warhorse trainer. I mean, I love it, but I need to... No, I should have kept it. I mean, if I'm going to keep the Vindicator, I have to keep the, the, the... It's okay. It's actually not that big of a deal. If we don't get anything, we coin out the Vindicator turn two, play this turn three. I mean, just sort of flood the board in the mid game and overwhelm them. What is it? Peasant, that's bad. We don't have a way of killing that off. We get a Righteous Protector, which can help me kill that off, actually. Not immediately, but we can kill it off next turn, which is nice. No Doggy Biscuit, please. Just no Doggy Biscuit. Is Agro Druid still viable? Yeah, I don't think it's as good as some of the other decks out there. But I think it's definitely playable. Um, especially up until about Low Legend. It's quite playable. Oh. And see what we get. We get order in the court. I mean, sure. We get a light ray. We're gonna play this again. Um, hopefully everything dies so you can play the big one. Hopefully we can get a uh, a bridge soon. Oh no. Oh no. We want to try to find jury duty next turn. Would have liked to have found it with the uh, buffin. Or the buffet biggin. I always make, I combine the two words and say buffin. Because it ends biggin and it's the buffet. So I always combine the two on accident. Definitely not what I'm supposed to do, but it's fine. I draw another card. Please be jury duty. Nice. We get two jury duties. Let's go. We'll play this and then we'll play like this, this, this. Actually, wait. No, 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 dude. Oh, that's so devastating, actually. Oh, my God. Is that going to lose me the game? Because I can't deal with Okani. I mean, we'll have to play this minion. Does it get countered? No? Interesting. So it's going to counter a minion. So we'll play a 5-5. Five five. So it's going to counter a spell, I mean. So I can play this and this next turn. The battle. We'll work towards killing that so I can play this and this turn 8. I knew he'd have King, dude. Oh, I can't stop it. The Rat King is just too strong. I knew it. 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 Boom, boom, go face, whatever. It doesn't matter. You get another 5-5 five, five and some decent stats there. I wanted to draw the- I wanted to play the bridge first, but I couldn't. We'll play the bridge next turn, and then we'll play the Countess turn 7. And then... The turn- oh my word. Oh my god. Wait, no, he doesn't get it though. It's just a dormant- wait. Wait, discover it and trigger the death rattle again? Okay, so it doesn't actually do too much here. And we'll keep the divine shields up. I want to play the uh, the bridge and hero power and then go face. I don't care about this. He hits in. It goes dormant again. It's fine. I'll play the countess next turn and then a ton of letters. Invitations and then just play a ton. And then we can go boom, boom. Turn like nine or ten or something. So we're actually in a very, very decent spot. Like, I knew that was going to happen, but I couldn't have stopped that. Like, that was just, that was just happening. I couldn't stop it. Oh, and he gets the rush minion, dude. Come on, man. Boom. Doesn't really matter. Do I just go full face here? The problem is this comes alive. This does not come alive, though. We can just push face and hope one of these is a good rush minion. And he has to trade in. All of his stuff dies anyway. We're just gonna go full face. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I need to try to find like Alakir and win the game off of him in like a turn or two, basically. Because the game's. We're not gonna survive if the game lasts that much longer, because he's just gonna outvalue me. I find this deck fun, but weird. Oh, he gets another rush minion. But can he kill the 9 9? Oh, he can kill the 9 9. Can he kill everything? Oh, wait, he can because that comes alive. This becomes a fight. Oh my god. No shot, dude. 
No, wait, it doesn't, because this can't die anymore. So this does not come alive. He's able to kill off. So a 3-1 lives. A 3-1 will live. A 3-1 will live. Basically guaranteed. This does not come alive, because this does not die. Unless he wants to kill off his own minion. Which would be interesting. A Lakir would not even be enough to win the game, actually. No. No. No! Man. Oh, it's okay. We're gonna get a ton of legendary minions and hopefully it'll be enough to win the game. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, all of them are useless. Okay, we'll play that, whatever. Give me something playable. Okay, the Rat King isn't terrible, but I think I'd rather go with this for extra value with extra pirates or whatever. Because it's a colossal minion, we get extra stats out of it. Charge, love it, love it, love it. Actually, eating a beast is low-key good too, though. Now we'll take Mr. Smite to try to burst him. Um, extra stats, love it. And then that's also fine. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Alakir! Yes! Okay, sick, 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 sick. Boom, hero power. And then we'll go face twice. We don't quite have lethal, but if we get Mr. Smite, we do. If we get Mr. Smite, we have lethal here. Because we play Mr. Smite and the other dude, and we have enough mana to play everything. And it's GG. Unless he plays a Mountain Bear. But even if he does play a Mountain Bear, that's a really slow turn, and these all live. Like, we still have, like, at least a 7-7 seven, seven or something. Okay, okay. Very winnable. Very winnable all of a sudden. I did not think that this was going to be winnable. Just climb with Silver Hand Sunday. Oh, if it were a Sunday, that would have been a really fun thing to have called this. But unfortunately, it's not a Sunday. And it could be Tavish? No. Oh, no. Okay, please get... I would say King Crush or Hydrolodon. King Crush or Hydrolodon, please. Not Mountain Bear, for favor. Mountain Bear would suck for me. Please. No Mountain Bear. King Crush! I don't die and we kill him with the uh, Mr. Smite. GG. Woo! Um, let us keep the caravan and we'll look for a one drop. But the caravan being played on turn two is not bad, especially with the Righteous Protector to defend it a little bit. Uh, goodness gracious. No, this could go crazy, actually. Two caravans? Imagine the tomfoolery we'll get ourselves into. What's up, Hearthstoners? Hey, how's it going, David? I hope you're having a good one. I'm gonna play that and just flood the board. This is gonna snowball really hard. Do I even want to play the other soldier's caravan? Where you followed? Wait a minute. What the fudge? That has to be Thief Rogue, then. That literally has to be Thief Rogue, then. I feel like it should be at the end of your opponent's turn. So that way I can actually attack with the one ones. I don't know. It just feels pretty weak like this, but we'll see. Boom. Jury duty. Jury duty. Jury duty. No. That's fine. We'll still play that and go face. It doesn't matter. Light race. Cool. I mean, this is this is a really good start, though, to be quite honest. I mean, if he doesn't kill the caravan, we just keep pumping out minions. We'll be able to play the big and No. No. He killed it. Uh, how could he do that to me? This actually makes this whole game so much more difficult. Actually, hold up, 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 hold up. I want him to not attack the 1 1. If he doesn't attack the 1 1, we go crazy. Actually, hold up. If we draw the bridge, we're playing the bridge. We're not going to draw the bridge. Attack, man. You're so cringe. Why are you attacking? Chill out, man. Let me double trade so I can play the big in. Unless you kill off one of my minions, in which case, go right on ahead. Have a nice day. Carry on. Okay. Oh my god. If it's explosive, it's not even that bad for me. Believe in 
Do it. Be explosive. I dare you. Wow. And everyone guessed. But this is when we play the big one. And let's play that for some pretty good value. I'm trying to think about what I want to play next turn. It's probably going to be Caravan into Light Ray next turn. Countess. I mean, that's fine. Hopefully we can find Dunboulder's Bridge before the other ones. No shot, dude. Do I want to make it a 1-1? One, one? I mean, I guess I could make it a 1-1. One, one. But I just feel like they're going to be bigger minions, like a big colossal minion in the near future. So why would I do that? Uh, trade, trade, go face. The Countess, the legendary minions are going to have to win me the game. I thought I could climb back to decent legend ranks, but I'm getting like 40 ranks per win and I'm in 10k. How does my MMR even work? How MMR works is it's that is it's a hidden ranking system, which basically is like, hey, you are, you know, hypothetically not playing super well. Um, so you lost a lot of games in a row. So the hidden MMR is like, so your skill is very low. No, I didn't want the big one. That's like the worst one it could have been, man. It's fine. We'll do this. And we'll trade. And then we'll hero power and play Light Ray. And this goes face. But it's like, okay, this person is not good. They've lost a lot of games at this rank. So your MMR goes down like exponentially. It's like, it'll go like this. But the more games you lose in a row, the faster it goes down. Because like, oh, this person's really not good enough at this skill level. And the same thing goes if you go on a big win streak. It goes up exponentially as well. So if you get to 10k legend playing a ton of meme decks, which is what I do a lot of the time. The and you lost a ton of games really, really quickly. Like again, like I said, I do all the time. It makes sense that now you're not winning or getting that much, uh, that many ranks per win. We're going to just play the Countess on, like, this side here. It doesn't really matter. We're going to go Bonk, Bonk, then these go face. And we just... He ends up at 26 HP regardless. It doesn't matter. We're going to play these three things next turn and hope that they're enough to win the game. If we draw the bridge, I will play the bridge in two invitations. I think it is better. Jackpot. Oh, no. Okay, don't have the Trickster in your hand, please. Brawl. 7-7 seven, seven lives every time. Every time the 7-7 seven, seven lives. <laughs> what I tell you? I'm actually the best player in this entire game. We'll play the bridge and we'll play two invitations. What do I want? Uh, draw a minion? And a big taunt dude? I mean... I don't get that many minions, but this is useless because I didn't cast a shadow spell and this... It's cool, but with no minions out on the board, this doesn't really do anything. Might as well get some card draw out of it. Home we're like King Crush or something here. Uh, sure. Sure, sure. Let's summon two minions. The only way I lose now is Twisting Nether or Scabs. And if it is Twisting Nether or Scabs, we restabilize with this and that. And we draw an extra card and we get to play a minion for free. So we don't actually even lose that much. And if it's scabs, again, like I said, we restabilize. And we get the countess back, which is also not bad at all. Like, I'd be happy, happy. Oh, you got that off of tooth? That's pretty cool. Because he was still the other class when he played that first tooth. But anyway, hidden MMR will go up and down. And it's not necessarily the same as your rank. Like, for me, since I my win rate's pretty good... I just haven't played in like four days, so my rank dropped a little bit. The people I'm playing against are still at like a high rank. I don't think I've played against anybody who is a lower rank than me. Maybe one person when I went on a losing streak. But for the most part, I've played against people in... I mean, you haven't been able to see the ranks. I have. Um, but I've played against still people around top 1,000. Despite the fact that my rank was bad because I won a ton of games... And it, 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 you know, ended up going well for me. And we win this game too. Awesome. Um, none of these cards are keepable, to be quite honest with you. Order in the court's interesting, but we don't want to keep it this early on in the game. So we're going to get rid of it. Um, Steward, honestly good. Seafloor Savior's decent, but we want to top deck a one drop. We don't get a one drop. Okay, that makes this really, really hard to infuse then. We can't play at turn four. Which sucks. I really want to be able to play turn four. Maybe we play this turn four then. 
So I think we still end up taking this. So that way we can take a little bit less damage, especially if he pumps it up. It's going to be Fiendish Circle. He's going to trade in. If he doesn't trade in. Oh, wait, are you pure aggro? This is just pure aggro. I'm pretty happy. Next turn, it can be turn four's class action and hero power after the 3-3 uh, the three, three dies. Ah, oh, man. You can also go the bridge this turn. You can also go hero power and then order in the court, maybe? Which I don't hate. I also don't like it either. Or not bridge order in the court. We can do like this order in the court. I mean, if I go... I don't want to play you because you're not infused. I need the divine shield on it. We'll discover a card. I'm rolling at this point. Holy shit! Okay, if we can survive until turn 7, we're popping up. No, I should have made it a 1-1. One, one. Because I didn't have removal for this. This is my bad. This is really, really, really bad. He plays Vile Library or something. I mean, I play the big M at this point, I guess. And then we can we can play the class action as well soon. That was, that was, I just, I played horribly. I played pretty bad by not playing the, uh, the class action. Whoa, what? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, okay. You can't play Reform this turn, though. So, I mean, at least for that, I'm okay. Trading? Okay, a little bit of a setup here. Honestly? Oh, fudge, dude. Oh, that's going to be very bad for me. We can kill off one imp. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is fine. 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 I misplayed, but he didn't necessarily do the greatest thing in the world either. We're going to go order. It's going to cost four. I'm going to kill off one of them. And then we're going to be able to, we're going to be able to do this twice and also going to be able to play Light Ray and then probably also Hero Power. It's going to be one, one, this. Actually, we could, oh my freaking goodness, dude. Oh my freaking goodness. Oh no. Okay. No, don't trade. Don't trade. Don't trade. It's okay. Make it a one. Make it a one. Jury duty. Boom and boom. Okay, I see your board and I raise you a board. A slightly bigger board, actually. I'm still probably dead, though. It took me too long to get the ball rolling here, it looks like. Because all I need to do is have, like, a Vile Library and I'm absolutely doomed. Well, okay, to be fair, maybe they don't have that much direct damage. So, I mean, like, maybe if I can survive for it. No! No! Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? You had another one in your hand? Oh, that's so much damage! Oh my god! Okay, I'm at three. I'm at three. I'm at three. I'm at three. This is fine. 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 Only got 21 damage. What direct damage does he have? This goes here. Here, here. Four. We'll play the Countess, and we'll hope that it can win me the game. I don't... I mean, it might run Demonic Embrace or whatever it's called that does three damage, but I don't think they do. I'm hoping not. Okay. So far, not actually that big of a deal. No, wait, we win. Holy shit, we win. This deck is broken. This deck is genuinely, insanely broken. This deck might not actually be balanced. It might be broken, actually. This is insane that we're winning games with this deck. I did not expect this to be so successful. Um, yeah, sure, we like them all. We like them all. I like the fact that we have the, 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 the Vindicator that potentially just draws cards immediately. I mean, if we can get Jury Duty right off the bat, that's amazing. Would love to see that. We're gonna go Sous Chef into, it dies into Boom Boom, into he maybe kills off one, maybe he doesn't. And then we're gonna go Boom, Stone Earth Vindicator, Boom, pop off. Don't play Sigil Alacrity, please. Just kill my 2-1, please. I'm begging you. Oh, he's not gonna kill my 2-1, man. We get an order in the court, which we don't want to play right now. We genuinely don't want to play it right now, because if we play it right now, uh, we're going to get the Countess way before we need to. We really only need to play this probably around turn 
I want to say probably around turn five is when we want to play it, because that way it'll curve into that really, really well. No! He unintentionally played around me super duper well, no. Do we get jury duty off of this? We do, Pog Champ. And now only one of them need to die, then we can play the, the this dude. Then we can play boom, 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 turn five, boom, turn six. No, then it won't work into the Countess. Oh man. But I still want to fill the board with these as much as possible. Whoa, now hold the phone, my guy. No, stop, stop, man. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's disgusting. He killed my board and drew a card while doing it. How rude. Well, we still get to play two Silverhand recruits. We're going to play the Vindicator, and it doesn't really matter what we get. We either get Order in the Court and play it, or we get Jury Duty and we play it. It's one of the two. Um, and I don't really want to play the steward yet because even though he's good, I don't think he's going to be good enough. No carryall, no carryall. This is a aggro dude paladin. It is a dude paladin. Honestly, I've thought about, um, no, never mind. I was going to say, I thought about running Bran, but the only reason Bran works in some versions is because it gets rid of Dineth or, uh, we get rid of it with the jailer. Sigil of silence. Fair enough. We get to kill off at least Lady Steno. The bridge? I mean, he's gonna silence everything. So if I play this and then play a card, it's silenced. I could just play like Order in the Court one turn early, maybe? And then we can play C4 Savior. No, yeah, I think that works. Yeah, we can do that. We're gonna get a uh, Silverhand Recruit that's a 3-3 Divine Shield minion, which is not bad. And then we'll have to kill off Lady Steno. And it's gonna get silenced, but I think that's okay. I think next turn it's gonna be boom, boom, boom. And we should still... No! I trolled. I did troll, I did troll, I did troll. Because we're not gonna be able to play this till turn 8. But honestly, playing at turn 8 isn't the worst either. Okay. I wanted to be able to play the bridge. But in all honesty, playing this, this, this doesn't sound that bad either. We get the Righteous Protector, which is cool. We'll play it. Then we can play this. Because if I draw a card and it costs zero... No, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Because it costs zero. So we're going to be able to play it. We'll get the Light Ray, and we'll play Light Ray, Light Ray, and this, and Hero Power. Unfortunately, the Dawn Boulder's bridge is not going to work out as well as I'd hoped, but it's okay. Boom, boom, in hero power. And now we get to play the Countess on seven. We get to play the Steward of Steward uh, on f at nine, I guess. I mean, I'd rather play him on three, but playing at this point isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, this board is solid. I mean, he kills a 5-5, five, five, which definitely sucks. You're conceding? Oh, that's so sick. Okay, so you're saying this Savich tweet right here. What are my thoughts on it? We're going to keep just the uh, Righteous Protector, by the way, because it's a good one-drop. Right here. I think we might be getting another immediately playable gameplay altering Legendary within the next expansion announcement in a week or two. Just speculation, but I can think of many reasons why it could happen. I agree with this. A lot of the times, what's been happening for the past several expansions is right before another expansion drops, think about Prince Renathal. Think about Blade Master Okani, and probably a couple of other ones off the top. I, those are just the two I can think of off the top of my head. Those are the two cards. Do I play Order in the Court here? I mean, I'll get Bull... Boom. I have a decent chance of getting the bridge fairly early on. I actually don't mind that. We'll play it, we'll play it, we'll play it. Turn three is awkward. Turn four, though, we start getting the ball rolling. Anyway, we get those cards like two weeks before the expansion actually drops and if they're doing a reveal soon we get a bridge which is actually really good to get next turn we play this turn four this turn five and it's actually insane i could see it happening based on other things they've done in the past i think it would be a bit early though i do think it would be a bit early so i'm not 100 percent sure it would happen but i wouldn't be surprised either because this expansion will probably be, probably have a new class 
or at least something big because they've said a couple of times that this expansion, the third expansion of this year was gonna be bigger. Uh, last year, they teased that they were potentially gonna come out with a new class in the near future, which the near future was not that year, but it would be this year. And there have been some leaks about Death Knight potentially. So if it's not that, it's gonna be something else big, which means they want to build up hype for it earlier. So I would not be surprised if a new legendary drops, like a neutral legendary that's immediately playable and high impact. I would be quite surprised, actually, if it didn't happen. Maybe not at, at this re uh, reveal, but like two weeks before it goes live. Oh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys, actually, if we go to Hearthstone um, expansion release dates, there has been one expansion released November 16th. That expansion, 17th, sorry, was Madness at Dark Moon Fair. Dude, I don't care about your 4-4, four, four, it means nothing to me. Oh, that 9-9 nine, nine means a lot though. Okay, we might have been a little bit greedy, but to be fair, my hand was really, really bad this game. My hand was really, really bad this game, to be honest. But if we look here, that expansion, November 17th, happened with the earliest expansion to date, other than Murder and Castle Nathria, August 6th. Before that, most of the other ones, August 6th, 7th, 10th, August 6th. I could see it coming out as early as November 17th. Also, we're getting absolutely thrashed here. Wait, what happened? Did he kill off my minions? How did he kill off my minions? I was not paying, oh, he traded. A little weird, because I can't kill this off. Okay, hopefully, oh, we're not gonna draw the trainer next turn, which sucks. Two divine shields, and then a hero power. If I don't die this turn, can I threaten lethal here with 20 damage? Oh my gosh, I do actually threaten lethal here. If he doesn't, if I don't die this turn. I have 20 damage. Holy shit, we won! Are you serious?